Can trastuzumab, biosimilar, effectively and safely combine with other biologics, such as pertuzumab? And does other healthy authority or payer approve the combination use? And how about the real world experience? So look, that's important, isn't it? Um, we know that trastuzumab and pertuzumab combined for metastatic HER2 overexpressing breast cancer is a wonderful combination. It extends life by more than one year. It's really a treatment we want for all of our patients. But we both know that health systems are struggling to reimburse just one targeted therapy, and we're asking them to reimburse two. And that's been a financial challenge. Um, and what we discovered in the UK was that the cost effectiveness of the two drug regimen was, was not good. The costs were very high. And so we initially refused reimbursement, as in many countries. But what we've now said is that the falling cost of the trastuzumab, because biosimilar use in Britain exceeded 90%, which led to good competition to cut prices, it meant that the combination therapy now became very affordable. So our health authority, that's the, we call it NICE, our health technology assessment group, approved the reimbursement of pertuzumab and trastuzumab as long as you use the biosimilar trastuzumab version. Now, of course, if the drug is essentially the same as regulators said between the original and the biosimilar, it will work the same way. And our experience in the United Kingdom and other countries that have done the combination is that it works.